So I watched the flagrant, the flagrant podcast. And in the middle of this last episode, they did this reaction to an apology of some guests that they had on their show a while back. Now, usually I watch or immediately download a flagrant episode whenever it first comes out. I remember when this came out. I know of these guys, like I've seen some of their shorts and stuff and okay, it's fine, but it's, I don't follow them. <laughs> and I didn't, I wasn't generally interested in seeing a whole podcast with them, even if it was on flagrant. So I skipped that one. So I didn't see it. So in the middle of this last podcast, when they do this reaction to an apology for them laughing at a joke that Andrew made, I was like, what the fuck? The whole podcast is called flagrant. What were you expecting? You don't know who Andrew Schultz is and some of the shit that he says all the time. You come on a Latin girl's stomach, her belly button just opens up and takes that shit in, dog. Like fucking hungry, hungry hippos in there, dog. <laughs> You gotta come on her back. That's why they call them wetbacks. Now, guys. You're probably on the wrong podcast. <laughs> but I do wanna play uh, the reaction in its almost entirety. I did speed it up uh, and I did cut out a little bit of it just because it was getting a little bit redundant. If you've already seen it, if you already know what I'm referencing, Check the timestamps in the description or the pin comment or wherever the fuck I end up putting the, the chapters. But just check that if you want to skip forward. But this is what I saw without any context at all. Uh, the, the shits and gigs gentlemen came on the podcast. I love them. I love I, them. I feel bad they're going through this. Yeah, but I, and actually I do want to take it seriously because they are they are serious guys. And um, I want it. I'll stop fucking laughing. Dude. <laughs> they are defending their community. I want it. They came on the podcast. They got a lot of flack uh, for laughing at a, at a joke. And I would just want to hear their apology. These are serious fucking guys. And this is a serious, this is a serious apology. Ow. <laughs> You're an asshole. Ow. Ow. No, can you take it seriously? All right, sure. Okay. I want all, I don't. Shifty? I haven't seen yeah, this. Yeah, that's I, crazy, Shifty. That's crazy. Shifty. Come on, Shifty. Shifty. Fucking I want everybody to just take this serious, and I want us to try to have a serious moment. Mm -hmm. It's a serious podcast, and I want to just listen to their heartfelt apology. Guys, Let's, yeah. Go. Right, before we get into today's episode, mm -hmm. uh, quick PSA, quick acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you know, you know. If you don't, it's fine. Um, but we just wanted to address something that's happening at the minute. Yep. This past weekend, uh, there's been a couple of clips going around uh, from when we did a session on the Flagrant podcast. Um, while we were on our US tour. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there were a few jokes made um, that were incredibly inappropriate. One, speci incredibly bro, incredibly one specifically pertaining to black women. Yep. Um, and in the clip, um, Andrew was making a joke. Uh, I'm not even gonna get into specifics. Don't, making a, don't uh, you like, get in. Frankly, like racist joke. Yep. And <gasps> we were laughing at it. Me? And to give, there's, 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 first of all, before we get into like specifics something? or anything like that, obviously there's just literally no excuse. Pause. There is no excuse. Agreed. Pause. There's no excuse. There's no fucking excuse. <laughs> Um, and Can you pause? I'm sorry. Pause. No, yeah. I just want to take in the beginning of it. There is no excuse for jokes. <laughs> there is never an excuse for making jokes. Well, can we try? I'm not going to ever make an excuse for being a comedian. There is <laughs> never an excuse for making jokes. Yeah. Okay, uh, that is a real statement said by a man. <laughs> <laughs> I just want that to be clear. There is never an excuse for making jokes with the boys. Go on, go on. Let's take it serious. Look at the, look at look at how sad he is over the left. Like it is yeah. Fight is a real thing. He is. So, he is, he is say, we should go back. Really we should go back because he's going through it right now. Look look how he practices. this. Let me I'm gonna pick my skin. I love you guys. <laughs> on, I need you to watch him. Look, he bite his bottom lip. Like, oh fuck, man. There is no excuse. Ooh, um, oh, and. Ooh. and Fight or flight is a real thing. Like it is, yeah. Fight or flight is a real thing, and it's so not easy to say. But when you're in those situations, you you look at it through a lens of like, bro, if it was me, I promise you, I'll stand up, I'll kick the cameras down, yeah. I'll smack homeboy in the face, yeah. I'll say this, I'll do that. But when you're in there, you're in shock. You're in shock, and all you want to do is move on. Yeah, all you, bro, Pause, move you, on you, is you the wanna... I've I've been there. I know I know what that's like. When you're just having fun, laughing with the boys, and you're like, I just can't wait to move on from that. <laughs> Uh, don't you know that feeling when you experience the fight or flight and then you just laugh? <laughs> Does that happen to you guys when your body is just being torn with the primal urge to either fight or flight and instead you just go, ha ha <laughs> Do you guys ever have that feeling? I feel like you're making an excuse for jokes. I'm not, yeah. I would never. That sounds like what you're doing. Hey, I would never excuse taking two things that have nothing to do with one another and then bring them together to make your friends laugh. I would never excuse that, Mark. What if I was a good setup in a misdirection at the end? You're enticing me. <laughs> you're doing that thing. Well, you're, no, you're kind of tricking me with no, your no, brain. You're using no, your brain no, to trick me into no, agreeing no. with something I do not want to agree with. I'm, I'm just asking. Please continue. Fucking work, bro. All you want to do is fucking move on. Just move on to the next thing. Yes, move on to the next thing. Move on. And like, we had to say a few times, bro, just move on. Just move on. Just move yeah. on. So many different times. We'd be like, move on, move on, move on. Move on. Yeah. It's not even like about pain laughter or anything, but we just wanted to get, get out of that situation. Get, get out of there. I know. Keep the ball rolling. And we thought it was going to be more of like a, a bros. Yeah, 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 yeah,
I thought it was going to be that too. <laughs> I thought it was going to be one of those bros chats where you just Stupid. say everything that's polite and proper. I, I did think, <laughs> what do you guys do when you hang out with the boys? Uh, we play games. What yeah. kind of games do you play? What we're grateful for. Yo. That's, I, I will sometimes just say 10 things we're grateful for. I, I, hate, <laughs> I hate that you guys have created a, an energy on this podcast where instead of just saying what we're grateful for <laughs> and appreciating the community that we build, we try to make each other laugh with inappropriate jokes. I hate that kind of voice hang. Yeah, we should change it. I want to change that. Can we start right now? Let's make it a Shabbat dinner. Yeah, <laughs> let's make it a Shabbat dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what is that? <laughs> it's the vibe we need. Just the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about our weeks, be grateful, yes. turn down everything else in the world. You see why everyone hates money. them? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see why? Because that's their idea of fun. Yeah, their yeah. idea of fun is sitting around, eating food that didn't taste good, and then yeah. telling everybody what they're grateful for. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do that, though. Yeah, yeah that's what we should do. There we go. Can we make an agreement right now? Turn it no more inappropriate jokes. I like that. Especially from you and even you. I like that. Yeah. You never say anything. I don't. I don't. I'm the most appropriate. You are. I'm, Thank God. Honestly, yeah, I have to be. Please keep you guys in line. In something that's like really, really hurt people that yeah. look to us for support and look mm. to us to feel protected. And protected is the main thing yeah. that I wanted to discuss is that it is our duty to protect you guys. Pause. Um, Yo. I feel like we failed. Yo. I feel like we failed. Oh gosh. Yo. The past, how many years have we been doing this? Six? Seven. The past seven years where I've been saying that your people fuck mud. Yeah. And you've been saying that my people fuck sheep. Yeah. I don't feel like we protected either of our people. You know what? You're right. You're right. And it's, it's our duty to protect people. Scottish people, I just want to say that I apologize to all of you for letting this motherfucker say we fuck sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Scottish people, I apologize that you're all so ugly that you have to fuck sheep. <laughs> I apologize for that. It's our duty to protect people. <laughs> Wait, so what if we see a video of an Indian guy fucking mud? What is that? We haven't seen one. Oh, We've really? seen a girl, a guy fucking a girl in mud. They fuck mud. Oh, no. Nah. Wait a minute. The other videos, they were going down on the mud. Now you know what's more like. Now you're warming up the mud. It's wet already. <laughs> <laughs> stop making jokes! Hey, stop trying to have fun with the boys. Yeah. 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 You're trying to have fun with the boys. I'm thankful for you guys, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just say, yeah. say two things you're grateful for? Because what you, black you women? Have... Better one better be black women. <laughs> better be black women. Say, don't be... say black. Hey, don't say black women. It's a problem, Al. I'm thankful that you guys. Don't say I'm thankful that I'm not married to a black woman. Don't you Come on, Scott. Deal. I'm saying what not to say. She's from Spain. I gotta protect my woman now. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Sorry, Indians, by the way. Yeah. I apologize. We, 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 no, I apologize. I should have protected you. I apologize. Because you're not capable of protecting yourself. That's the thing. I don't think that you're capable of protecting yourself, so it's my job to protect you. I got to infantilize you, and I apologize. Lord, can we take this seriously? This is right. an apology. They're fighting for their careers. Desolate. They're fighting for their lives Los here. Los Haitians, I'm sorry. Okay. And it is definitely not cool to be in that situation. And again, not be the ones to stand up and keep the cameras down. And we fucked it on that occasion. It's not going to happen again. And it's about being human. It's about mm. realizing that you don't know what you're prepared for. You don't know how to prepare for something. You don't know, you don't know what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. 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 Once it's happened one time, you're like, plus, fuck. Plus. You know what's mad funny about this? Is that they had shit that they asked to take out the episode. You know what they didn't ask to take out? Your racist slander. <laughs> Why is your nose touching? <laughs> <laughs> they had shit. Their, their, their producer or whatever was like, hey, we really think that's inappropriate. We'd like to take that out. That's very uncomfortable. Their fight and flight instinct really kicked in after the power down. But with that joke about black women, nothing. Nothing really seemed, the fight or flight wasn't really there. Your delivery, afterwards. Your delivery was too good. Maybe it was. It was, they were seduced by the delivery. Yeah. I like 100%. them. I, don't, I feel bad they're going through this, but you don't got to protect anybody. That's what I would say I like to y'all personally, to y'all publicly. You don't got to pretend your people are equal. What are talking about? Okay, let's listen to the end of the apology. You learned from your mistakes. Um, and that's true. That's literally, that's that's literally, literally about, Yeah, we fucked it and we're like, we're sorry. You're and definitely, you definitely don't it's, for me, like, it's one of them ones where you, you don't realize that, like, for one, when you're part of a community, you don't realize that you can hurt your own community. Mm, when, when, when you're not, yeah, when, when unintentionally. Unintentionally, for real. And yeah. also, on, on top that's of that, true. it was so crazy that, like, the narrative that's been spun about how we feel about our community, mm. Ooh. the irony of the fact that whilst the whole reason we're in that country was to just show how much we love our community yeah. and show how much we love our supporters and yeah. how much time we spent at the shows and just, like, getting to know people mm -hmm. and just, like, understanding our community better and just, like, making friends and making bonds and showing yeah. love and they're showing love. And this whole six-week trip was just about showing how much we love our community yeah, and how much our community show, them, up, yeah. show up for us. And then... To have that exact same trip be the reason that we're having to, to have this conversation now. Um, but at the end of the day, um, mistakes make you a better person. Mistakes you're, make not a better person. A, you're not born a perfect person. Um, and yeah, we don't condone. We Look. don't appease that behavior. We don't. All right, all right, all right, we get it. So. Okay, so what the fuck was the joke? <laughs> what was the joke? So I started to watch it. Okay, yeah, shame on me. I didn't finish it. I wasn't interested. I just <laughs> wasn't interested in this, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm just not. So I, didn't, I couldn't get through it. Luckily, shout out to Too Lazy to Try. I clipped this from his video that he just dropped about it. He figured it out what the joke was. And then he figured out some more shit.
So a, a, a guy who's had a black girlfriend, all of a sudden he's got buzz cut, like yeah, clean he, shape up. Nah, he's he's yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah, like that. that. Nah, I like like that. that. They yeah. shave their hair because they start losing it. Because it's so stressed being <laughs> around this black girl complaining about shit all the fucking time. That's why they got to shave their nah, hair. Nah, bro. White guys with black girlfriends, they, they, they grow step, a beard because there's up. more cushion when they get slapped the fuck out of it. That's hilarious. I think, I think the black girlfriend effect, hmm, it might be a protective instinct, bro. You think? Protective. Yeah. Do you guys, do you guys, have you ever had black girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, have you ever had white girls? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. What's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> we love them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Just, really? We love them all. Yeah. That means white. Yo, who gets no. it? <laughs> 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 hey, let me get no, no. email translation. Kendrick fans, <laughs> get him. <laughs> that was the joke. That was what that whole apology, like, and all of that was... Okay. They've dug up shit that they've said before, and that's why this is getting so much controversy. But I'm sitting here watching the shit that they said before, and I'm sitting here like, I'm way more offended about that than them laughing at an Andrew Schultz joke. It's Andrew Schultz. Come on. You don't know who the fuck he is? All right. She used to watch on a TV show who was obviously black. She was like, oh, I wish I was her. I'm thinking, what? Jesus Christ. She kept on saying, oh, I wish I was black. I wish I was black. I'm thinking, Jesus Christ. What? For starters, if you was black, you wouldn't be getting any black men. So I'm just saying. Says who? <laughs> <laughs> that's, such an, that's such a bold statement to say. I wish I was black. I wish I was black. Like, yes. What's you, going on in your life? What, what do you know what I mean? You're to say that you wish you were anything that you're not. Yeah, you. I would say what's going on in your life. Also, I don't know what's going on with the lighting. Sorry. White fam. You're white. You're winning. Mom, to interrupt. What? You're winning? What does that mean? You're okay. What is it with? It sounds like I'm hating on black girls. I'm actually not. <clears throat> Even though I'll come back to it. I used to have such a stigma against black girls because they used to bully me. Anyway. Move on. Okay. Black boys used to bully me too. And then I grew the fuck up. Honey, you need therapy, not a girlfriend. Moving on. I'll come back to it. I'll come back. Why do black girls want every type of guy? to want to be only with black girls. So exactly what you just said, yeah, if there's yeah. a white guy, especially if he's good looking, if there's a yeah. good looking white girl, if I can yeah. move a black girl, yeah. it's ratings, ratings galore. galore. It's ratings <clears throat> galore, fam. And if a, white, if a black guy is dating a white girl, black girls are vexed. Black guys aren't vexed. Black girls are furious. <laughs> stealing, our women, stealing our men, all mm. this stuff. Da, da, da. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I am getting so sick and tired of this trope. I don't normally do this. I don't think I've ever done this. But let me speak for all Black women, all of us, everywhere, when we say we don't care. We care when you throw that shit in our fucking face to make us feel bad. Well, this is why I only date white bitches. What does that have to do with me? What does your complex have to do with me? Nothing. This is why only. Okay, well then please stay your ass over there. Let them handle you. Now, if you're talking about like a mother son type of relationship or whatever, you can apply that to any culture, any race, anywhere. No one cares who you date is when you throw it in our faces to make us feel a way. That's what we're reacting to. Never have I ever walked down the street, seen an interracial couple and have witnessed or even felt the need to turn my nose at them, regardless of which way is which. I don't give a fuck. I have 
bills to pay. I don't care what they're doing. Like, I get it. They have a giant following. I'm not trying to diminish that at all. They do have a, they have cultivated a community. I get that. I understand that. But those were genuine laughters. That wasn't fight or flight. That was genuine laughter. That's the whole thing about comp. Andrew is a com. All of them are comedians. <laughs> You're on a show, a podcast hosted by comedians. They're going to say fucked up shit. Andrew's going to say fucked up shit. So if you're not going to do your research, then baby, that's on you. I don't feel bad for these guys at all. And, and that apology was just beta as fuck. I don't even subscribe to that alpha. I don't, I don't subscribe to that shit. But if there ever was... That shit was beta as fuck. <laughs> I'm not ever going to apologize for laughing at a fucked up joke. A joke is a joke. The whole point of a joke is that something inappropriate is being said or something inappropriate is being done. Everybody can get these fucking jokes with him. And excusing that, but the joke wasn't even that bad. It wasn't... It wasn't that fucking bad. What was the... If you don't know what the fuck kind of jokes this man tells, then maybe do some research before you head up onto that podcast. That's another thing too. People that want to hop on other people's podcasts just for their own benefit, but they're not even going to take the time to research what the podcast was about. Short story time. I have an audio pod. It's still out. I have not put an episode out in a while because Anchor.fm done switched over to another fucking platform again. And that shit is not intuitive at all. The app that I was using, obsolete. Now I got to download another app and then get a whole other microphone to attach it. It's stupid. I haven't put out an episode in a minute. Sorry. This was a couple of years ago when I went to a memorial service for a young kid. And um, I have, I've been working on a, a larger project in which he will be featured in. So you'll hear more about this story eventually. But um, this kid, he was a kid and he died. And I went to the memorial service. And while I was there, the preacher, the pastor who was speaking, his wife came to me and because like a lot of the students, they listen to my podcast. And so they were talking about it. She overheard. She comes up to me and she's like, oh, I've heard, heard you got a podcast. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then she goes, starts droning on and on and on about this book that she just wrote and how she would love to. You are networking at a child's memorial service. Disgusting. She had just heard from these kids that that I had a podcast and I was coming from that. Now I wasn't even doing a piece or anything. You know, I mentioned it, but I didn't talk about the service. I didn't post nothing on Instagram. That was a private thing. This was a dead child. What? I'm not finna put no, nobody on the fucking camera. The fuck? Turn that into some content? No. The kids knew me. They listened to me. And, and, and I went there for support. And this woman then turned it into a networking thing. She just saw a black woman. She just knew, okay, this is a black chick. She got a podcast. She has a voice. Let's put something out there. And I get it. Always be closing. But there's a time and a fucking place. That was not the time nor the fucking place. She could have asked for my email, drafted something up and then sent it to me. But she was wanting to talk business But maybe I get I get a little bit too annoyed whenever I see people on podcasts that I listen to frequently and and their guests on this show and they have no idea. The Nelt Boys, that whole interview, people were like going in like, oh, Schultz was going in way too hard on him. No, the fuck he wasn't. Schultz isn't 
like a random guy on the internet. He's not like me, okay? This is this guy fucking sold out Madison Square Garden how many times? Guy a big head, but he can talk that shit because he walked that shit. So if you're gonna have him on your podcast, know who the fuck he is. Oh, have you ever done crowd work? <laughs> the fuck is this kid <laughs> whatever that whole apology and and everything else like people done got into their heads and and i and i do understand like you you get influenced to do certain things and it's like later on you might even realize damn like i kind of regret doing that because so many people were pressuring me to do that but i'm not going to hand out any sympathy to these guys this other shit that they were saying like fuck you <laughs> like really and truly like just fuck you like i'm not interested in these guys at all you know that the, some of the clips that i had seen you know I'll like the clip or whatever but not enough to subscribe but like now there's no fucking way i don't want to see these guys on my fucking screen anymore anyway that's it bye <laughs>